Hey YouTube, thank you for tuning in to yet another video for Kiki Life OT. And today we're going to be talking about Tyler Perry's new movie on Netflix, A Fall from Grace. Hey, it was good. If I had a wig on, it would have blew my wig back, okay? <laughs> it was pretty good. I knew I was going to like the movie because the lead character in the movie, um, who is Grace, is played by Crystal Fox from The Have and Have Nots. And I love her from The Have and Have Nots, so I knew I was going to like the movie. That's my girl. Um, it was pretty good. Um, it was basically about Grace. She's a divorcee. Um, she started dating this artist named Shannon. Things move kind of quickly. And she fall head over heels for him. He asks her to marry him. You will see here in this picture where he proposes. Um, she quickly says yes. Okay. Not a thought at all. They get married. And unfortunately things turn for the worse. And we know that already from the previews if you saw it. Um, not literally felt like in seconds after they got married. He became an a-hole. Okay. A-hole. So, um, come to find out. He was not who he said he was. Um, that's why I got they got married. She got fired because the company she works for claims she stole three hundred thousand plus dollars from their bank account. And we later found out her husband did it, Shannon, with his trifling self. He stole from her. And later on we found out he took a second mortgage out on her house, which was also three hundred thousand plus dollars off on her house that was paid for. Do you know how long it takes people to pay off their house and their mortgage? 30 plus years. Like, come on now. I would have been pissed, okay? So now you make her start all over from square one. Mm -mm. So he did that. And I'm like, really? So then she didn't, she didn't know what was going on. So eventually she wised up, realized he did it, and she wanted him out. So she went to the police trying to get him out. Legally, it wasn't gonna be quick. So, you know, she was getting frustrated, mad. She goes home. This fool is upstairs having sex with another woman in her bed and her house. Okay? So, he lets the other girl out. She's sitting downstairs waiting on Shannon Grace to talk to him. He's talking to her, being all disrespectful, basically fessing up to everything he did, showing his 100% colors. Okay? And she goes get her back. You see here in this scene. She go get her back and Beat the brakes off him, which I can't too much blame because you don't do that. You don't do nothing like that to people. Like, come on now. She thought she killed him. So then, of course, she calls her friend, Sarah, which is played by Felicia Rashad, telling her she killed him. So she goes to jail. She gets this lawyer named um, Jasmine. Jasmine, you know, originally thought she was guilty. And as she started figuring some stuff out, she like, you, you know, we could go to trial. I can try to get you off. So eventually, Grace agrees to it because she was like, you know, I just want to go to jail and be in peace and be in a jail near my son. But eventually, she agreed to it. And um, Jasmine was trying to get her off. So they go to trial. And Jasmine calls Sarah, who's played by Felicia sure Rashad, up to the stand. Unfortunately, for Grace, Jasmine didn't do all her research, okay? The prosecutor, he checks Sarah's phone records, and Sarah's telling her story of that night, kind of find out she's lying. And according to her phone records, she talked to Grace for a certain amount of minutes, proves that Grace called her after the murder. So then... Sarah, she gets all frazzled and end up telling the, tr the truth that she thought that Grace killed Shannon. So, of course, that ruins the case. The jury like, okay, you guilty. So, of course, you know, they say she's guilty and she goes off. Just the Grace says her goodbyes to Sarah, her son. And Grace notices on Sarah's neck, it's a necklace just like the same necklace that Shannon wears. So then once she goes back to her cell, she starts putting two and two together. She's like, Sarah's in on it. I'm like, ooh, child. So as I'm watching it in this moment, I'm thinking, okay, Sarah is one of Shannon's lovers. I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? 
So, you know, um, Jasmine, she's in a car with her husband. She's on her way home. She told her husband to let her out. She'll walk from where they're at. So then she sees Cicely Tyson while roaming the street. Cicely Tyson actually lives in the house with Sarah. And can I just say, I love how Tyler Perry keeps Cicely Tyson employed, honey. He keeps her booking busy, all right? Okay. I love her. Um, but anyway, she is, she takes her back to the house, takes her back to Sarah's house because that's where she lives. She thinks she's lost. But we soon find out Cicely Tyson is trying to get out that house, honey. So Jasmine takes her back to the house. Jasmine goes in the basement because she hears some noise. She goes in the basement. Kind of find out all these women are chained up in the basement that um, Sarah and Shannon has been running scams on. They've been stealing these women money, taking their social security money, and getting rich off of them. Okay? Well, at least trying to. And come to find out, we think Shannon dead. No, honey. Shannon's alive and in Sarah's house, hiding out. So then they, you know, tie up, tie up um, Jasmine. Because, of course, now she knows the truth. Can't get her out. But her husband, he like, where's my wife? He comes in looking for her. He comes in, save the day. They shoot Shannon. Um... He handcuffs Sarah. She gets away. But Shannon, he dies. And, um, of course, with all this information, it gets back. And now Grace is proven innocent. So she gets out of jail. Unfortunately, Sarah gets away. And she continued doing the same thing she was doing. We see her going to this other lady's house. And being her caregiver. So I'm sure she's going to do the same thing she's been doing. Um, but it ended on a good note. But let this movie be a lesson to ladies. Do not just go ahead and get in a relationship with a man. Before you learn everything about him and get to know him. Don't be jumping into these relationships. Okay? But all in all, the movie was great. I definitely give it a four out of five. And I'm hoping this is just the beginning of more movies that Tyler Perry would bring to Netflix. I'm looking forward to more African-American based movies. Um, but definitely a must see and go check it out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it was a good movie. And just check it out for yourself. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, Kiki Life of Tea. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.